gonna take a basic t-shirt and we're gonna turn it into an applique t-shirt. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to take a t-shirt that you have in your closet and turn it into an applique t-shirt with some extra fabric. And first I'm going to show you how to do to do that by hand and I'm also going to show you how to applique a t-shirt by machine. Machine. So we're going to go find some, some fabric, we're going to cut it up and we're going to add it onto our t-shirt. This is a great project if you have a, any t-shirts that are just plain hanging out in your closet or you, or you find one at the thrift store or the or maybe you just one that's not fitting you right and you just want to jazz it up and add something different. So we're going to add some visual texture with some added fabric and I'm going to show you just how to do that. And I will see you on the other side. So here I have my t-shirt. It's on a dress form. You don't have to work on a dress form. You can work on a flat table. That works great. I have a piece of, of jersey that I block printed. So actually, actually go and check out my how to block print video if you want to see how I made this fabric. But other than that, you can always use just a, a type of knit fabric, any type of knit fabric that has a nice big design on it, like these, these big motifs that I have. And I've already pinned this fabric in place. And now I just have a hand needle that I threaded up with some contrast thread and I'm just taking big stitches all the way around the exterior of the fabric. We don't actually want to have these pins in place while I'm I, while I'm working. You can you can see I'm having to move I'm having to move this fabric a lot while I'm working with it. And once we start embroidering this in place, we're going to move it even more. So if I have a lot of pins, it's just not going to be very helpful. So that's why I'm hand basting it into place. So I'm just taking big giant stitches all the way around the exterior of my designs. I'm not going to worry about the inside of my designs here. We're going to we're going to take care of that when we're stitching around each one of the motifs. I'm just going around the outside of this big chunk of fabric just to keep it in place while we're working on it when we go to thread up our embroidery needle in a little bit here. So, as you're going along, just go ahead and remove the pins as you're working with it, especially if they're getting in the way. I'm just gonna go all the way around my motifs here. Now you can see I have several motifs in place here. You might, it might be that you want to cut a big wide chunk of fabric um, and, just, and just use like one or two motifs. It kind of depends on what your fabric you're using. So now I'm going to grab some embroidery floss and I'm just going to use the floss as it comes straight off, straight off the, the little cardboard thing there. And I'm gonna thread up my needle there so I'm just using an embroidery needle and I'm just going to make a little knot at the end of my floss. So I know there's no pins in place and I'm just going to anchor that knot there and I'm just gonna make tiny little running stitches, kind of like those basting stitches that we did, but I'm gonna make them smaller. So I'm gonna just move my needle in and out of the fabric about a quarter inch away for every stitch. And I'm just gonna build up several of those on my needle and then pull the thread through. Now the floss is pretty thick with this this much floss on it. Usually when you're working with embroidery floss, you you separate it into smaller into smaller number of threads. Like if you're cross, cross stitching, you usually work with what like two at a time. In this case, we want that extra chunky thread. It's just going to give us a little bit more texture and it's just going to look really nice on our jersey here. So that's why I am leaving it there. But that being said, those you might have a hard time pulling pulling the thread too. So if it's bunching up on you, just go ahead and smooth it out with your hands and just kind of let the, let the fabric breathe a little bit. We don't want the fabric to be bunchy at all. So think of it like you're lacing a shoe. You know, sometimes it gets a little scrunchy. You're gonna have to loosen up the slack somewhere in there and just make sure that everything is sitting nice and flat and flush. So I'm just gonna, I'm just stitching around one of these, one of these larger motifs. And I'm gonna do that for all four of my motifs that I have here, just stitching all around the exterior of that, just with those quarter inch running stitches. When I get to where I started stitching, I'm going to make a knot on the, the opposite side, so on the inside of my t-shirt, just, like just like I started it before. So just keep on stitching. And again, I mean, this is, this is something where you could, you could stitch as much as you wanted to. Okay, so that's that one. And let me show you a different way that you could do that. 
after I get to the other side of where I started stitching. I'm almost there. <laughs> I actually took out this 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 teal thread. I didn't like how it looked. It, what, there wasn't enough contrast in it, so you'll see how it changes as we're going along here. You might find that happens to you too. It's totally okay to rip those stitches out. It's super easy to pull those running stitches out and try again. And you didn't take a lot of time to do this particular thing, so if you have to start over, that's okay. That is okay. So here I am. I'm back where I started, and now I'm just going to pull everything through and then make a knot on the wrong side of my fabric. All right, there's my knot. I'm doing that. All right, let me show you a different way that you can stitch this out. Now we used a running stitch to stitch our jersey into place on top of our t-shirt, but if you don't like the particular look of that, another thing that you could do is come in with a contrast color of floss and just go in between the stitches. So I, I've just got a little different color here and I'm just stitching where I didn't stitch before. So I'm still making running stitches. I'm just coming in with a second color and just going where I didn't stitch with the thread, the, the floss on the first, the first pass around. So this is just a different, a different look. And it's something that you might experiment with just a different way to embroider your shirt. Again, just make sure that you pull your, your stitches. So they're, they're sitting nice. And then um, that's something that you might want to do as well. You can see, I, I actually, I, I nixed all of that. And I just want the simple running stitch in a brighter contrast color with the, the purple. And I've stitched all the way around all four of my motifs with that purple. And now I'm going to come in here and we're going to work on stitching the interiors of the designs here. So now I've got a different color of floss. And I'm just going to stitch around some of those some of those smaller designs on the inside of each one of my big motifs. So you can see like I've got some smaller flowers on on this particular stamp here. This is one of my favorite black prints. I, I love this one. It, I, I drew it from a piece of lace and I just I, I love how it kind of got a little bit of the details of the lace even though in the less detailed black print texture thing going on. So I'm just going around those, those smaller motifs in there, just with those same running stitches, just moving my needle inside and outside of my fabric with tiny little quarter inch stitches, just pulling, pulling my thread through, making sure that the thread is not tight at all. When I get down to a place that makes sense, I'll go ahead and put a knot in and I'm just going to keep on going around all, all the different areas where I think that I should add some more, some extra stitching. It's really up to you how much stitching you want to add once you've, once you've outlined, outlined your basic design here. You could just, you could stop at just the basic outline or you could just keep stitching until your heart's content. There is no wrong way to do this. When I tell you, you can't mess it up. I really, really mean it. This is just fun kind of relaxing sort of stitching that you can do while you're, while you got a movie going on. It's late. It's been a tough day. You just need something for your hands to do to kind of relax your brain before you go to sleep there. Plus it looks really nice too. So win-win, <laughs> win-win. Okay. When you're happy with how your stitching is looking, then just go ahead, just like we did before, then just put your thread on the back side of it and tie off everything on the inside of the t-shirt. And then you're just going to repeat this whole process with the other with the other motifs that you've that you've set up on your t-shirt here. So I'm almost done with this particular one. I wish I had used a little bit more contrast on this particular, this, this particular inside of it. I'm seeing that the, the teal is a little bit harder to see on that, that interior. Sometimes that happens. That's okay. I still like, I still like the final product. It's okay. Sometimes we can make better choices. So I'm just tying that off. And now we're going to cut away the rest of the fabric now that everything is all stitched out. 
Okay, now that everything is stitched out, I'm just going to remove all of my basty stitches. We don't need them anymore. They have served their purposes. So we're just going to get rid of those. And now I've got a pair of scissors here. If you want, you can use a pair of embroidery scissors if you really, really want to be careful here. You just want to make sure that you're only cutting through the layer of jersey, right? We're just cutting away the, the extra jersey on the outside of our stitches. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut actually between my motifs there. So we're, I've got that open space that's between the motifs. I'm going to get rid of that too. So we're going to still be able to see our stripes underneath underneath um, our fabric here, which is going to be kind of fun to see those motifs kind of individually. So I'm just cutting away the jersey just on the outside. I would say cut about between an eighth and a quarter inch away from your stitching. Your fabric is really secure with, with, even with just these running stitches. You don't really need anything more than that. Just be careful. Don't cut through any of your stitches themselves and be sure not to cut through the t-shirt. So just take your time with this process. This will take you a little bit of time just to cut away all that extra fabric. That's really all that there is to hand appliquing a t-shirt. It's very, it's a very simple process something that you could do to a t-shirt that you were making in the process or something that you could you you bought a t-shirt and it just wasn't working you could you could do that to to a t-shirt that you bought too so this is kind of a project that anybody can do even if you're even if you don't sew a whole lot this is something that really anybody can pick up it's a great project for kids too just to learn how to start start working with a needle a little bit so I'm just being really careful on that that negative space between my designs. I'm not going to go on those those places those places where the stitches are super close together, but I am just going to go where I've got a little bit more space to move to move my scissors. So yeah, be careful there. But that's all there is to it. So once you have worked your way around all of your motifs and you're happy with how everything is looking and just kind of step back from a little bit see if you need to trim stuff out a little bit but other than that that is how to applique a t-shirt by hand yay thanks for watching this applique t-shirt video there's lots of other stuff here on elizabeth made this so go check out those things and and i will see you in another video bye